In this video, I will show how to prepare a turning tool to be imported into the SolidCam Components Toolkit. So first thing we need to look at is how is this tool going to be mounted in the machine? Uh, most machines, uh, most lays with the upper turret, the tool will be mounted upside down. And that is the orientation of the tool mounted that way. So our main contact points will be the bottom face of the tool and the back face of the tool. So our coordinate system will be defined on this point. So first thing I will do is go over here to Features, Reference Geometry, Create a Coordinate System, make sure the endpoint or intersection point of that corner is my origin. My X direction, I want to be normal to this face. Y direction will be normal to this face. And just to make sure, my Z direction will be normal to this face. So I have my orientation and my origin for the mounting coordinate system. So I'll rename this to mount. Now the next coordinate system will be where the insert will snap to. In this case, it's going to be in the center of the seat here. So I'll create a sketch on this seat face. I will draw a circle. And I'm going to make this circle rotate around here. This circle, and I'm holding the control button down to select those two items, that line. I'll make tangent. Again, select the circle. Hold my control button, select that line or that edge, accept that. Now, the diameter of the circle will be the IC of the insert. In this case, it's going to be 375. And there is my sketch for my coordinate system. So I'm going to save this now. Now I need to create my coordinate system for this, but I need to edit this and I need to draw some lines. So I want a line from the center and I'll just draw it back this way and I'll draw another one this way. So I need to make this line and this line perpendicular and I'm going to take so I can get back up in here I'll rotate around the endpoint of this and drag it to the center of that radius. Basically, this line needs to be opposite of the nose point of the insert. And these two lines need to be perpendicular. Accept that. Now, when I create my coordinate system, features, reference geometry, coordinate system, I'll select my origin as the center. And instead of X being defined first, my Z, if you'll notice, this seat is on an angle to the mount of the tool, it's tilted down. So I need to define my Z axis first. So I'll select that line. Then I'll select my X axis there. And that will be the orientation of the insert joint. I'll accept this. And this will be, I'll rename this to joint. Save this. Now, I'm going to, and you can create a new component library or add an existing. I have an existing one here, and it's my SC turning, solid cam turning. I'm going to click here for import tool assembly from CAD. The message pops up just to make sure that the model you're going to import is in the active SOLIDWORKS window. I click OK. I'm going to generate this as a turning tool. Now, I have an insert in here, but I don't want that. So just to click on it to highlight and make sure I get the right one, and I'm going to remove the insert. Now, this is going to, I'm going to right-click and change this to a shank. And then I'm going to right-click here and change the reference coordinate system to mount. And click OK. And expand this. Drag this over to shanks. Now, I'm going to turn on the tool preview and go to my connection. And I want to 
measure my coordinate or calculate coordinate system, master will be the mount, slave will be the join, click apply. And there's my import for a turning tool.